Hello, 8th grade, and welcome to this week's weekly breakdown. So in the previous lesson, we talked about objects in the solar system. We talked about features of the solar system, what makes up the solar system. We also talked about the planets as Earth, Venus, Mars. We talked about the different objects that can be found such as comets, meteors, asteroids and we talked in depth about the sun as the sun's interior, the sun's atmosphere and their features. In this lesson we are going to discover how did astronomers and scientists got the chance to get all the inf information and collect data from outer space. How did scientists actually collect the data? So with the advances of the technology and engineering, scientists can discover more about the universe every year. What do they use to collect this data? They use telescopes, satellites, and other instruments that can be used to open up the mysteries of the universe to the people on Earth. So after they collect the information from the following instruments that they use, they help understand more and more regarding the features of the solar system. Moving on to the electromagnetic spectrum. What does this have to do with space? So all objects that are found in space, they give off energy. What is this type of energy? It is radiation. And how does radiation enter the Earth's sphere? They travel in the form of waves. So all the instruments such as telescopes and the probes, they detect electromagnetic radiation from the objects in space. They collect data and produce images of the objects in space. So. The only type of electromagnetic radiation that we can see with our naked eye is the visible light or when it shines through a prism and it is reflected. This light gives different colors, so it is called visible light. There are other forms of electromagnetic radiation that we cannot see, such as X-rays, gamma rays, ultraviolet radiation. These waves are classified depending on the wavelength and the crest between one wave to the other. And the longest wavelengths are found in radio waves and the shortest are found in gamma rays. And that is it for this week's weekly breakdown. Thank you so much, 8th grade. If you have any questions, you know where to find me.